The food and beverage industry is in a really interesting spot today with the challenges that they face. So on one hand, you have consumers pushing for higher quality, but the consumers are also now pushing for more sustainable companies. The food and beverage manufacturers are having to keep up with that. They're having to increase their production while also maintaining the quality and the price, but they're also having to increase their environmental stewardship. So that itself could add costs. Where the opportunities are to address all these challenges together is where food and beverage manufacturing really take a look at how they use their water, how they properly use all their resources, and ultimately by making smarter decisions, they can save on labor, energy, and water, then just delivering on the sustainability piece, but also that product quality piece. Here are three large ways that organics monitoring can help out food and beverage manufacturers. One is in optimizing CIP cycles. Once you optimize, you can find ways to start saving. The second is then once you learn that, you can start reducing CIP cycles and really hit the proper targets as opposed to just those based off time. The third is to minimize that product loss, which ultimately minimizes waste generation and wastewater load.